Brad for here. Here's a quick tutorial on how to import a deck list from WoW TCG Browser into Tabletop Simulator. This is the directions, page one, page two. So refer back to these if you need. I'll try and put them in the description. Let's get started. Step one, let's go to the WoW TCG Browser's website. We're here. In the top right corner, you need to log in. Once you've done that, hit decks. Scroll down to the deck you want. Let's say we want to do PvP Bogmara. Just hover over this magnifying glass until the list comes up, or just click the magnifying glass. Once the window pops up, go in here, and we need to copy all this, so just move the mouse around to get all that stuff highlighted. Or just hit, oops, that doesn't work. I'll copy that. It didn't grab the side deck, that's fine. Next thing we want to do, we want to go to frogwow.me. That's it, frogwow.me, and just click the deck maker button. We're here. Go to main board, and paste everything in. And I saw that we left off the sideboard. That could be important. That was right here. Let's just click off that. There we go. Now we'll grab the sideboard. If you get lucky, you'll get all of it in one go. Whatever. Um, so we pasted our list in here. We also need to go ahead and... If you want to check this stuff, you can. For this tutorial, I'll just put the sideboard on. Let's go in here. Paste the sideboard. All right. Uh, and we seem like we are almost ready to go. Oops. So we're down here to pay uh, step number eight. We just pasted... Number nine, remove all the text that isn't a card. So where it says like allies, that's not an actual card. Get rid of that. Abilities, get rid of that. Items, get rid of that. And then up here where it says hero, well, the word hero isn't isn't part of this, so get rid of that with the colon. And then Soul Drinker Bogmara is the name of the hero, but that actually has a hero spot. Let's cut that and put it up here. Go down here to sideboard, remove the words side deck, because it's not a card, or a card quantity. Uh, left quests, get rid of that too. Here we go. This is pretty much it. We're done with that. Let's enter a name. I'll just call it PvP Dash Bogmara Warlock in red for Horde. Um, let's see. Let's put quality on high. I want to make sure that's up there. These are how you add the Hearthstone card backs. That'll be in the other video. So we're done. Hit generate. Occasionally you get this. It's like, hey, didn't recognize the cards. What's wrong with it? So I didn't put this in the write up because it's kind of hard to explain. It pulls all the cards from this website. Wow cards that info. So whatever card didn't work, in this case it's called If You're Not Against Us. Just search part of that name. I'll just search If You're Not. And it shows up here. Ah, uh, there's a triple dot at the end. A space triple dot. So just copy it exactly like that. Uh, just go over it. Just highlight over it and paste over it. We should be done now. Generate. Great. Here's our deck. Let's look back at our directions real quick. We hit the generate button. That was green. We did that. Now left click the box that says right click. I know it's weird, but that's what we're going to do. So just left click, single click, and there we go. It downloads it into our downloads folder. We can just click the arrow and hit show in folder. That'll bring up the folder that it's saved in. Or we can press the control J, like control Juliet. And by default, that brings up your show in folder button. So here we go. And there it is, PvP dash Bogmara Warlock. So that's the deck. Let's just click on it. And now you need to figure out where to put it. Well, we actually have that in our directions right here. This is where they, the FrogWow guys recommend it by default. Mine's in a slightly different spot, but you can just take this and copy it. And you could just open up a, a folder, or you can open up, like, start and go to documents or something like that. And if you want, you could just paste this in and replace name with your name, whatever you have yourself named on your computer, or if it's, like, your mom's computer or something, just, you know, whatever her name is is, is named on the computer. Then you go over here to Saved Objects, click that, Oh, you guys don't have that, do you? All right, here's the folder I have my stuff saved into. It's the same thing, except uh, it's, it's saves and then chest. I don't use the chest. I just have a folder for saved objects, and I just keep everything in there. So you guys save it however you'd like. Uh, but that's how you end up going to there. You just browse through the folders, paste in here at the right name and all that. Uh, or you can just drag it over. So here's our downloads folder. Here's the folder for our, where all our saves go. And I'm just going to drag the deck over, and it's done. Once you're in Tabletop Simulator, you want to make a game, just hit Create. Let's go Multiplayer. And I always name games like this, like WoW, TCG1, Password1. That's a Diablo 2 style thing, but just became a habit. Uh, create Server. Let's just go with that one. Hit Load. And we want to check and see if our deck works. So we hit Objects, Saved Objects. And you might have to browse to figure out where your stuff is if it's not in the Saved Objects folder. I don't know where the Chess folder is. But for Saved Objects, that's what I use. There's the Bogmara. I can hover over it. I can see it. I can drag it out. There we go. I know that it works. 
there's the there's the hero, there's a 60 card deck, there's a side deck, press F, flip these over, and I can see here there's lots of cards in here, good, 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 so it looks like everything's there, I can right click and search, yep, sweet, okay, that's pretty much the deck, there's a longer tutorial if you guys want to know how to put Hearthstone card backs and other things like that, uh, like with this example, you can see it's got a kind of a Hearthstone style card back, yeah, here's another one. So I just try to theme it. Anyways, there's more stuff in the other tutorial if you need. Good luck.